Hey folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is for font lovers and Mac users. So if you collect a lot of fonts, especially free fonts, where you don't always know where they come from, where the source is, sometimes the fonts are not really well made or they get corrupt. If they get corrupt or if there's something wrong with them, they can really wreak havoc on your Mac. They can cause it to slow down. They can cause other programs to crash. They're really hard to tell if it's a font related issue, but they are known to cause a lot of problems on your Mac. Let me show you how to use FontBook to actually run a validation and find out if you have any corrupt fonts, then you can remove them if you do. If you go into your applications folder on a Mac, you're looking for FontBook. You're gonna double click on FontBook. That's gonna open up this. And this is kind of a, an organizer of your fonts. You might not even know it existed. You can actually create some collections and kind of organize your fonts that way. But what we're looking to do is you wanna select all of them. Just hit Command A and that'll select all the fonts. You wanna go in this tab over here to all fonts, okay? Select all, then you're gonna come up here and go to font file, validate fonts. Now this could take about five minutes or so. What it's gonna do is go through all of your fonts. It's gonna have a green check mark if they all check out. It's gonna have a yellow mark if there's something kind of questionable. The yellow mark's usually okay. We're looking for the red fonts though, or the red X's. If you see a red X, you definitely want to delete those and get those off of your system. They could be really causing trouble and you might not even know it. But up here, if you click this, this will be the no warnings or errors. These are gonna be all the green ones. So these are all the good ones. Then you're gonna see here warnings and errors this will bring up the yellow ones and if there's any red ones red ones again bad the yellow is minor and the the green means that it passed the validation test so if we put this on I usually put this on errors because I only want to see the red ones I usually keep the yellow ones because they're kind of questionable they're usually okay so if you find red ones, so definitely delete them off your system. What's going to happen is you'll get a list of red ones. You put a little check mark and down here you can see here it says remove checked. So this is going to take a few, a little while, but that's how you do it. So just open up font book in the applications, select all the fonts, go to file, validate fonts, and you can check and see if you have any corrupt fonts on your system. So I passed everything with 103 minor problems. So I'm gonna keep those as is. And one more thing you wanna do in the font book is that you can actually resolve duplicates. You can see here I have multiple copies of this font. So you can select all, right click, and then choose resolve duplicates. What that's gonna do is go through, there's 33 duplicates. I'm gonna do the resolve automatically. It's gonna go through, get rid of all the duplicated fonts that you might've installed twice, and then you're good to go. So validate your fonts, check for duplicates, and you should be running smooth. Cheers.